Hello, all you pioneers out there. Commander Kingfish here. And we are back in Satisfactory. We have our production lines getting set up. We have uh, our uh, iron ore being processed. And it is making... I've got it making uh, steel plates and iron rods right now so that's uh, gathering up fairly well uh, we are going to today hopefully get our screw production set up and our reinforced plates as well as getting a milestone completed and actually we're going to go ahead and do that milestone right now so it looks like we need 200 plates so let's go in here and just grab 200 of these plates and then we're going to need 200 rods and they should be over here collecting so let's grab these 200 rods we also need uh concrete which is down at the uh down by the lake shore which is where we have our limestone production set up so let's go grab that and then we should be able to grab our copper wire on the way back and so we can get a milestone done right away today. So we'll just uh, run on down here and let's grab 400 cement. Should be right in here. And we'll go ahead and just grab a 500. All right, there we go that's the cement now let's go grab the copper wire and in this way we can get another milestone set up and we might be able to even get a tier done today so I should have uh, all right so this I think is making this one is making copper sheets and then our copper wire is going right here so if we grab 500 all right so that should give us everything that we need to actually get a milestone done right away we are going to be needing that cable as we get to it so once we get this milestone going, I'm going to add some more bio, biomass burners. All right, so let's see, we need 400 of that, 500 of that, 200 rods, and 200 plates. And we're ready for launch. So what the sink bone bonus program does is milestone reached you have been given access to the anti-waste effort for stress testing of materials on exoplanets bonus program also known as awesome your awesome input allows fix it to comprehend our amazing universe more clearly in appreciation of this we have generously set up an internal closed economy with exclusive rewards and currency Directing parts of varying quantity and complexity into the awesome resource sink will grant Fixit coupons. These coupons can be redeemed in the awesome shop for highly desirable items such as new foundations, walls, factory attachments, cosmetics, parts, and more. Next time you have additional resources just remember to go that extra kilometer. Go awesome. Okay, so we will be building that. The nice thing about that, as I don't know if you gathered that out of what uh, Ada was saying, but those excess materials that we are producing, <coughs> we can uh, put that uh, into the awesome shop, create coupons, and then buy materials that we will need for other projects. So let's uh, see what our next, I think our next one is jump pads. So we need to put that in that will give us our tier two stuff done and then we can go into our tier three so let's uh, hit jump pads and 
we're going to need rotors, plates, and cables. We have not set up rotors yet. <coughs> we'll be able to produce those at the workshop, but we do have these already built. So we'll probably be able to get this one done today as well. But right now, I want to put in three more biomass burners. And so let's do this. Let's uh, go into power. And one, two, three. Uh, so what do we need? We need some more copper wire. Let's run over there and get that. Because we're going to need more power to get those reinforced plates up and going. So let's uh, just uh, do this. We'll just grab another 500 of these and that gives us plenty. So let's go get these biomass burners set up. And then uh, I guess what I'm gonna go ahead and do is finish getting my biomass production into place. So if we could do this, let's uh, go ahead and, oh, I need to make sure I get this set correctly. So we want to, let's see if we can kind of get this somewhat lined up. All right, so let's, Put that about right there. We'll set the hologram to lock that into place. Now let's see how that looks lined up. Uh, that's not too awful bad. That actually looks pretty good. And I think that is... We could probably nudge that over just a touch. Uh, I guess, I guess not. I guess that's about it. So let's go ahead and just uh, put that into place right there. I gotta watch out. I see one of those uh, bushes over there. All right. So let's put a second one in. Uh, let's hit the lock, the hologram in place. That's pretty well lined up. All right. Let's go ahead and drop this one into place. And then one more. So once we get these all hooked into the system. Oh, and our uh, pod is returned. So. Uh, set that right there. Lock it into place. Oh, we were kind of off on that. Let's uh, let's nudge that forward like that. And maybe forward just a little bit more. Yeah, I think that's probably good right there. All right. Okay, so we get out of that. So now what this is going to do is we're going to hook these in. So let's, we'll go ahead and uh, let's see. I need, uh, how many posts do I need? I am running each one of those off a post. So let's go ahead and just put in three posts. That should give us plenty of extra line here. So if we put one, let's kind of mark this right about, ah, right there should be good. One for that one. that one and one for that 
that one. Okay. Now we need to connect these up cable-wise. So let's do that. Uh, yeah, let's uh, put that one into there. We'll put that one into there. And we will put this one into there. And we can connect that into there. Let me see. That still leaves one. Connect these in. That still leaves one. And then there. So that gives us the ability to run lines off of here. So now the next step. So I actually have a logical setup for this so that all we got to do is gather leaves and stuff and then we'll throw those into uh, constructors and then they will do all the building so we're not having to uh, manually build this stuff all along you know, we'll have to manually go out and collect the wood and leaves and stuff like that but all we got to do is throw that into a storage unit and then it'll automatically process for us so let's escape out of this. So now, uh, let me, I need to get to my biomass burners. So from here, I need to do a couple of splitters. So let's uh, do this. Uh, I want actually I need three splitters to start with so if we go to logistics and we go one two three uh, looks like we got enough of all of that stuff right now so we're gonna put one splitter right here So that it will feed these three machines. So we put that right, set the hologram. All right, so that has that lined up with that. And maybe we can nudge that forward just a little bit. There we go, let's put that right there. Okay. And then we'll come over here and put this one into place. And let's see if we can put that right there. And let's nudge that just one spot. And let's put that right there. So now let's get our conveyors into place. So this one could go there, right to there. This one will go there, over to there. And that will go there. All right. This one will come from here to there. And from there to there. And then from there to there. All right. So those are in place. And while, let's check these out. I did make sure that these have, so they're still got 99. Uh, what's this one got? 98. So let's, I actually got some excess stuff made over here. Let's go ahead and refill those up before we forget. Uh, I only need to grab one. And let's go ahead and add, I want to keep these running. 
That way we don't run out of fuel in these. Uh, put that there. There. Oh, I guess I got a lot more on me, on my inventory than I was thinking, which is good. All right, so we still got a lot. All right, so those are full. All right. So now our next step is, uh, I need a, I need to put storage in. So we can do this. All right, so storage is our uh, organization. And I need two of those. All right, we still have plenty of fuel or plenty of resources. We're going to try to keep this tight in here. So the first thing we need to do is put in another splitter and that will go all right. Kind of want that set in the center here. So something about like right there, I believe. So if we hit H, put that in place. Let's see how that looks. I think that's pretty good because this splitter is going to come off of here into our organization. You know what? Actually, we need to come back a little bit. I need to add a, a little more room for this. So we can just nudge this back a little bit. So let's put that right there. And then uh, we need to put in our storage unit. So that's got to come in out of there and I hope that's going to angle over there we might have to adjust this some but let's let's put that right there I might be able to curve that around so we'll come out of here over and then over I think that will work and then this should Uh, actually, you know what we're going to do? We're going to actually move this back just a little bit more. And then we're going to move that splitter again. So let's move this out one. Let's put this right here. And then... Let's, uh... Let's see. We need to move this back all right so we're gonna put this right here put that splitter in let's see uh, logistics splitter all right so if we put that right about On, line up there we go H all right that should that should be pretty good so we'll put that right there there we go that lines up pretty good now let's get that uh, other storage unit in it's got to turn this away See if that will line up. 
let's just put that like on on hold right there and then uh if we nudge this forward a little bit and then uh let's uh I think I think that will be pretty good. Can we turn that a little bit? No. Nope. Uh let's do this again. Let's see if we can't turn this like there we go. I think that's gonna line up. Alright. Let's see if we can get this to line up. Now let's put that on full. Alright, so I like that right there. All right. We got that. Now let's put these conveyors in. So this conveyor is going to come out of here into here. And this is going to come from here over to here. And then this has got to come out. And then if we bring it out like this, and then turn this, something about like that, and we can put this one in here, and then if we turn this, something about like that. Yeah, that should do it. Let's put that in right there. And then we can put this right here. Uh, that should be pretty good right there. Let's see. I think that's pretty well lined up. Yeah, that's lined up right there. Put that in there. Put that right into there. So we will have a constructor hooked into this that will be producing solid biofuel. All right, so that's hooked in. And then, so let's get this side in place. And we'll turn this like this. I'm just using the uh, mouse scroll wheel here. Uh, put that there like that. And then we're going to... Let's get uh, turned over here like this so we can get it somewhat lined up. I think that's pretty good we'll just see here yeah I think that's good all right then we can bring this one over to here and let's turn this and then this we should be able to there we go that should be good right there and we can run this right straight on into there. Okay. That gives us our containers that will store our solid biofuel. And in that way, we'll be able to grab solid biofuel as we need it for other things. Okay, so the next thing we've got to put in is we need a constructor. So let's go to Q, production, a constructor. And we, looks like we need a couple of, another reinforced plate. And so I need two reinforced plates. So that means I'm going to need 
one for this one more for this one and then I've got one two three more so I'm gonna need like uh, seven so let's go ahead and get uh, uh, actually let me just do it like this let's uh, put in one two three there we go so I need a total of eight so I do need seven more looks like I got plenty of cable for them so let's go ahead and uh, get uh, reinforced plates hopefully we've got enough stuff here to, to make them all right so uh, reinforced plates I need screws and it looks like I need so all right so let's make some screws Hopefully I can uh, get enough made here. Four, five, six, seven. All right. Now let's get these made. So that will give us enough for our constructors. Okay. So if we look at this, you'll kind of see what I got going here. This is going to, uh, our capacity is at 90 megawatts. So once I get those going, uh, we should be uh, increasing that considerably. All right. At least that's the idea behind this. All right. So if we get this constructor in place right here. All right, so. Close this away. All right. If we can kind of get this somewhat lined up. kind of keep this fairly tight and it looked like it was about ready to line up maybe something about right there let's let's lock it into place oh I got to nudge it over quite a bit let's Let's see how that looks. That. Yeah, that should do it. Let's go ahead and put that in place right there. And then we'll go three. This is going to come into here to there. Okay. And this constructor, so we might as well go ahead and get it set up. This is going to produce solid biofuel. All right. So that one's ready to go. We just got to get electricity to them. And... We want to put a storage thing in right here, store the biomass. Let's see. Oh, that's for the animal protein that I will produce. All right. So another storage unit, uh, cargo container, and that's coming this away. So that will produce, or that will be able to throw stuff in here as we make biomass from some of the animals. All right, let's 
lock that into place. And let's just uh I didn't quite get that straight. Let's uh let's unlock it. Alright, there we go. Let's lock it right there. There we go. Alright, now we can nudge this forward. And that should be good right there. All right. We then have... All right, let's see. That's, uh, we've got that in. Now we need a merge block. Because then we're gonna put those other three constructors off of this so let's do this let's uh, bring up our logistics and that looks like we're got plenty so let's uh, go ahead and place this down And let's uh, put that on hold because that appears to be lined up. We just got to nudge it forward now. And down. Oh. All right, let's see what happens here. Let's unhook this. Yeah, it needed to go down. I thought I could nudge that down, but all right, let's put that on hold. Okay, there we go. I think that's pretty good. Let's nudge that forward just a little bit more. We'll put that in right there. Okay, and so this will come out of here, right in there. All right, now we'll put our center constructor in first. All right, production constructor. And it's got to go this way. Oh, if uh, actually, it's got to go this way. There we go. Move this back about right here. Let's uh, lock that into place. Let's see how that looks. Our terrain's a little off here, it looks like, but that's okay. Uh, we need to bring this over, nope, back. Uh, let's get a little more over here. We can bring this forward somewhat, and let's see how that looks. That's probably not too bad. Maybe nudge that over just right there. All right, let's put that into place right there. And let's see if our uh, conveyor system will hook up to this. So that'll go from there. Good. It's not too steep. All right. All right. So that one's in place. Now we just got to put two more in. And 
And let's get back to our queue here. Uh, constructor. All right. Let's see if we can kind of get this. All right, let's put it right there. Then we can walk over here. Let's see if we can't get this lined up. Yeah, we got to nudge this forward quite a bit. Let's see how that looks. And let's kind of nudge it that way. Uh, maybe one more. There we go. I think that should have that pretty well lined up. Let's try that. And then let's see if we can connect this up. Out of here. Down into there. All right, that looks pretty good. And one more on this side and then I just got to put three storage containers in all right so back to our queue and let's get our constructor out and let's lock that right there then we can kind of nudge it into place i think that looks pretty good there then we got to bring it this away and i think that looks pretty good so let's go ahead and do that and then get our conveyor here that's going to come down into there. All right. So if we look at this, get out of this. This is going to, what we're going to do is, uh, let's configure this to produce biomass from wood. All right. And then this one, is going to produce biomass from leaves. And then this one is going to produce biomass from mycelia. There we go. So those are all in place. See if I can squeeze through here. Of course not. All right. So let's walk around here. Now, I'm going to put storage units out front because when I go and do a lot of collecting, I can't just load it. I can just load it in, but these only take 100 at a time. So I could only put up to 100 leaves in here. And I'll always have a lot more than that. So this way I can just throw them into a storage unit and then they will... Uh, be able to feed into each constructor. All right, so let's go to Q. Let's uh, let's see if I can build one, two, three. Do I have every? Oh, uh, I need rods. Okay. Let's go we'll grab the rods. I think is over here. All right. Yeah, let's just grab 200 of these rods. That gives us, we've got enough iron plates and rods. And then we can get this, and then this will be ready to go. I just gotta hook up the electrical the power to them. All right. 
So let's do this. Let's get uh, this out. And there we go. I like that. And I actually like exactly where that's in place. Okay. See, I let's put that on hold. See how that lines up. We just need to bring this back a couple slots. I think that's pretty good right there. Let's go ahead and throw that in right there. And then we just need to get uh, one more built here. Let's get lined up. There we go. Let's put that on hold. All right. I think that looks reasonably lined up. These don't have to be perfectly lined up. Let's just uh, nudge that out just a touch. Put that in right there. And then all we got to do is put our conveyors in place. there like that. That one goes there like that. And there like that. So now the only thing I got to do is remember what I've got set up. So this is wood, leaves in the middle, mycelia on the other end. Now, uh, all right, so I have so if we put a power pole right here, I guess. We can come off of. Yeah, let's put a power pole right here. Because I might end up putting that. That's connected in there. Oh, that was already maxed. Dang it. Uh, I didn't realize I had four coming off of that already. So what if we put... Can we reach it through here? What if we put a pole right here? Okay. That right there. Now, let's see if we can... Yeah. There we go. We can tie that into there. And we actually will go over to there and then so I've already tied these into the grid there so let's put another pole in right here and then we can put one in well let's put one in right here here and then if we put one in right here I think we can go and put one in on this other side and then that should give us enough connecting points to connect these all in uh, so let's uh, hit our cable put that into there put that one into there 
We can also put this one into there. And then we can connect that one to there. Then we can connect this one to there. And then I guess we will connect these up right here. Connect that to there. So the only one, and let's see if we can, uh, so we'll be able to tell that they're all got power. So let's see if we can connect that one to there. Okay, so you can tell by they're all yellow. So those are all connected. And if we can escape out of this, we can go ahead and let's see how these are doing for power. I still got 135. Let's go ahead and fill these all up. So that they're at full maximum. And it doesn't look like we're going to get much more done today. So we'll get these done. And then we can... But I do want to collect enough so that I can show you... Uh what how this is going to work all right let's get over here e let's drop this into here and then we can go to here and drop that into there all right so our capacity now if we look at this our capacity is 180 megawatts uh, production, and our max consumption is 104. So that should give us plenty of power to run this. So now the next thing we've got to do, kind of want to show you how this is all going to work, uh, although I probably should connect this up, you think? All right, but that is... All right. So now we do have everything connected. Okay. Uh, where can I go and grab uh, a bunch of... Let's see. Oh... What do we got over here? All right. We'll grab that, grab that, grab that, that. And. Kind of make sure we're not going to step into something here. All right. I just want to get enough to show you what's going to go on so that it will produce and you can kind of see what will happen here. This works pretty good. So once I get enough stuff gathered up, uh, let's see if I can get down here and grab this stuff without getting I think this is safe enough here all right I'm just trying to avoid uh, that dude over there by the power slug. We'll get to that here one of these days. We will so note that that's that. I think I have enough now. So let's uh, get back over here. I actually have a few odds and ends over here that we can grab out at the hub as well. So we'll grab all of this stuff. So this is the idea that it, 
I don't have to store this stuff anywhere. So I got stuff I've been trying to... Oh, I guess I don't have anything extra except solid biofuel. All right. So let's go ahead and put these into the process. So this one is wood, right? So we're going to dump our wood. Where are you at, wood? That's wood. So we put that in there. And that's going to start going into the constructor. This is leaves. So we'll put the leaves into here. It's not going to make much. I'll do a lot of collecting offline. And then my myocilia right here. There we go. And that's going to start coming in through like that. So now these are going to make they're all going to make biomass that will come in through here. And this biomass is going to come into this constructor, which is making solid biofuel. And then the solid biofuel is going to get split up and go to here which will get split up again and then it'll keep these machines running these biomass machines so now we have everything over here uh, we've got plenty of power that will continue to feed these and as we're starting to get backed up so that's the biofuel uh, generation and so that gives us plenty of biofuel to, to work and keep this uh, functioning uh, I thought I had picked our next tier, but apparently I didn't. So let's do this. We got to get, let's pick jump pads, select the milestone. And, uh, I guess we're not going to get this today because I got to build the rotors and we're running out of time. We still have the 300 plates and we have the 150 cable we have that made so we'll do that the next episode so yeah we have really we're really starting to expand out uh let's see if we can get up crawl up on top of something here let's uh, just do this let's crawl up and go up to the top up here and we can kind of look out so we got all of our copper processing going there We've got our cement and our limestone processing going down in that area. Uh, this is our uh, iron ore that is being processed and it is producing. So from the iron ingots that we're producing, we're producing iron plates and iron rods. And then, so in the next episode, we are going to get our screws production set up and our reinforced plates set up so we'll have to get that done uh, yeah it just takes time building this stuff but we what I'm really excited about is I have the biomass burners all in place and they're not scattered about I past I have just kind of plop biomass burners down and then they would all just be scattered here and there and then I have to run all over the place collecting fuel for them and then trying to keep those running. So now they are all running. Uh, I just got to do a, a collection of the materials and then throw those in and then those will process. All right. Well, I think I can jump down here. Uh, I can't really think of anything else today. Okay, well, I, think, I guess then we will call it good right here. Okay, all you pioneers out there, if you uh, like this video, please uh, hit that thumbs up. It really helps out the video. And uh, please subscribe. That will really help out the channel. Uh, and so, all you pioneers, keep building away out there. Keep those assembly lines going and keep that uh, efficient production uh, being produced for fixing.
And with that, Commander Kingfish is out of here, and I will see you all in the next video. Thanks for watching, everyone.